Belina Mekhe Aloha. My name is Anakalapilipo Solotorio and I am the eighth generation of Terra Farm here in the Aupo of Halawa Valley on the island of Molokai. look at the taro leaves, it has the shape of a heart. And in that leaf, if you take a close look, you will see something that is so important in the taro leaf, it's called the pico. And the pico is the belly button. That belly button and has connecting to uh, an infant when the mother is pregnant. It has a little veins like, and that vein is connected from the mother to the infant and so on in life. And if you can understand that uh, and get a deeper meaning, why I say Tara is life. When harvesting the Tara, you got to know how to go into the tar patch and to pull that tar and how you're going to place your hands and your feet. You can't just go in and just pull, but you need to loosen the roots. And in order for you to loosen that root so they can pull the tar is to place your feet between the mama tar and the baby. Once you get it all out, you wash up the dirt so you can see the roots, how you're going to take the roots off and wash it up real good in the Awai area with the water constantly running as you wash your taro and to make sure that it's also clean enough so that you'll be able to know how to use the knife to place it between the planter and the, the taro itself. Then you put it in whatever container you're going to boil the taro in and make sure you fill it up with water right up to the top and it will take, uh, depending on how much pour you're going to make and how much taro you're going to cook, it can take anywhere from hour to hour and a half. Now when that is all done, you take the OP shell and you hold your tower in your hands and then you slowly uh, first take the peelings off and then scrape every uh, part of the tower. Because you gotta be clean so that your poi will be clean when you start pounding it. You know what it takes to experience the pound and boy? It takes love. That love that you had when you first started got to continue on. You're getting deeper into the tarot. So the love got to get even deeper. You got to be very, very careful and do not put too much pressure on it because now the tarot is cooked and it's a little softer. So you put too much pressure on it. It's like pressing hard on a little infant. So when that is all done, time to eat, then the greatest joy is when all the hard work that you did have paid off. You take these nice little fingers of yours, or maybe one finger, two finger, three finger, depending on how you want to eat that point, and slowly, Take it and put it into the bowl, spin it around so that, you know, just like when you're eating spaghetti with a fork, so that it won't run off. The poi, as you twist your finger and spin it around, it will stick and then you bring it out and slowly put it in your mouth and on it. Look at the kapunas that are still alive today. Love them, hug them, cherish them. These are the kapunas that we need to pay very much close attention to. Because when these kapunas are gone, if you haven't done that, you lost your culture. 
Aloha iki kai iki kai is what our kupuna said always say. You got to have love for one another. First, know who you are. Find out who you are about yourself. And once you get to know that, then you will be able to love yourself. And that's the love that we ask that you share with others. Which Hawaiian says, Aloha ike kai, ike kai. Love one another. How are you? I hope to pass on to my grandchildren what my kupunas have taught me. Without understanding their culture, they will never remember who they are. Because Kalo, Halo, is life. And that's what it's all about. Aloha.